Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Thanks for joining us again on the pastel carpet. A lot of good conversation already going on. But the first thing I want to bring up is the hot topic that's going on right now with the B. Dixon controversy at the Honey Pot. If you guys um, aren't familiar with it, I will fill you in. However, please be sure to go check her out at thehoneypot.co. She can also be found on social media at IMB Dixon, and that is spelled B-E-A-D-I-X-O-N. So, to fill you in on what's been going on is that the Honey Pot is a company with feminine hygiene products, um, supposedly plant-based products that are a little more healthy for uh, the woman's body. And they have been doing really good being sold on multiple medias. However, not too long ago, B did a commercial with Target. I saw the commercial when it aired. Thought it was a really nice commercial. Um, however, she made a comment there at the end that said her company needed to survive or be successful so that black girls basically could have an inspiration or be able to know that they could do it too. Well, it's been a lot of outrage ever since that commercial aired. Kudos to Target at this point because Target put out a statement and said they didn't care about all the negativity that they had planned to support her. So, <laughs> kudos to Target Woo! for that. I personally did not see anything wrong with the comment she made. However, I am a black girl, <laughs> a black woman <laughs> who is in the business world. I too strive to be an example True enough for all girls, but what I am learning as a grown woman is that we don't have a lot of examples. And being in the business world for myself, I am learning that there are a lot of discriminatory practices that go on to keep us from succeeding, which is part of the reason I believe that B. Dixon made that statement. She was on a breakfast club, and she did say that of all the money that is given out, black women is less than 1%. I think she said 0.06 or something like that. So not even a crumb of what is being lended out for businesses is going to African American women. So there was a lot behind that statement. Keep in mind a commercial was only so many minutes long. So she didn't necessarily have the time to explain all that. However, ever since then, she has been getting a lot of backlash. Uh, I know a lot of Caucasian women went on, left negative um, reviews on the website, and basically tried to lower her stars. Okay, black girls, y'all showed up, and I don't think it was all black girls, because I did get a text from a college mate that knew a little bit about it, who went on and left a good review. She is Caucasian. Now, however, her daughter is biracial. So I think a lot of times when uh, white women get biracial children, they have a tendency to have a different view on things because how they come for us, you not now know they'll be coming for one of yours. But she also support, supports the company. I plan to purchase products. You guys keep your eyes open. We want to band together and uh, show the negativity that there is positivity. And sometimes the positive parts can outweigh the negative parts. So, I'm asking you ladies here on the carpet, did you see anything wrong with the comments she made? No, I definitely agree with you, Ty. I really feel like that um, we have to support our own instead of being like the, uh, what is it, the crawfish that pull each other down. We have to, you know. But do you feel like maybe it's reverse racism? And another thing no. I want to say is when people went on and left these negative comments, some people went on calling her the N-word and going to the extreme. So let's just be honest. Those individuals that went that far yeah. didn't have anything positive going on to begin with. You know, we know that their views are racist. But there was some people that said things like, why does it have to be inspiration for black girls or why do you have to pick an ethnic group why not just say that you're an inspiration for girls oh, overall yeah and i agree with I, I think that too time i believe that just because we're black or we white we don't have to always say to stand out that i'm trying to do this for my people or whatever or so my people can do this and that we all know that there are some people who don't agree with us as blacks, like we don't agree with some whites and the way they do stuff. And, uh, and I just think that 
it, it wasn't nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Like she had the right to say it. I mean, but when when you business minded or when you're trying to get somewhere, the fact that Target even supports her, you don't have to say nothing. Just get on there, do your thing, and let it speak for itself. Mm -hmm. I, I just think sometimes we get we get complacent with thinking we have to let people know that I but, mean, for my people or for you know what I'm saying. Well, she didn't say that her product was for okay. certain people. No, but I'm just she saying, so made the comment or brown people that whatever. black girls she 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 needs to be successful, and I think. Being in the same space that she's in is because she knows that they don't have many examples. Yeah. Not every ethnic group can say that. Yeah, we don't. You're right. You're right about that. But I'm just saying. To me, I would I would put it out there for so that it would be for everybody. That's just like you do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You ain't saying, well, I sell this product for my African American girls mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. I've seen white women sit in your chair and right. all kinds of stuff, and you welcome everybody. As a business owner, you have to put your business out there for all color of race. I don't care. Yeah, you have. And to. she has since said that the product is for everyone. I okay. think she but just identifies. Yeah, I think she just identifies with the struggles that come to not only women, because it's hard for women overall. Right. But I do know a vast majority of Caucasian women that have started businesses mm -hmm. and that are growing b by leaps and bounds where most of the black, I'm just gonna be honest, most of the black women I know, they are struggling. They're struggling with funding. They're, they do not invest in yeah. us. The yeah. people that hold the resources do not invest in us. So what I heard when she said it was, look at me, hang in there. You can do that it. is what I heard from her. You gonna run up against some obstacles, but look at me. I think it, was it can happen. I, I took it from the viewpoint that she was wanting to be more of an inspiration to her people. Not saying the product was not for everybody. Yeah, the product's for everybody. It's for everybody. If you got a vagina, the product is it for was, you, okay? <laughs> if I can succeed, you can too. You and know, that's and what I'm just saying. Think, like, but, I wasn't saying like she was saying the... What she said wasn't for everybody as far as her product, but because uh -huh. we weren't necessarily talking about her product. Yeah. We were talking about color. Like, I did it, and I have to be an example so that my black people or brown people know that you can do it too. Uh -huh. And well, why I'm don't saying, we have to sugarcoat it as a race? We, they don't. Why and, don't we and, have to sugarcoat But that makes a, to me, that makes, that's why we're getting all this controversy. Because... We have to stand up and be different. And we that's what she did. Be. She stood up for our people. You see so what much, but what you're saying is, it almost makes it looks like, look like she is doing what they do. Yeah, that's what they do. They they stand out and they make sure and all. But and then they don't they even, exclude us. You're saying that right? They, that's exactly what I'm saying. They always exclude us. Some of them, not all of them. So there are some people. That, like I say, so there are some white people that do not exclude us. That, like Target, they didn't exclude her because she was black. They're standing behind her. So right. she didn't have to make that statement, in mm -hmm. my opinion, because the, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for Target, she, you know, that's a predominantly white. Um, yeah. And in a commercial, she gave Target their props for taking exactly. a chance on her. So, I mean. But they are one of the few. Yeah. And I bet exactly. they pass on so many of us. Oh, you yeah. know, they took a chance on her, and I'm glad they did, and I'm glad she's getting the exposure. And actually, the controversy is kind of helping her okay. company because it's bringing her product to light where some people may not have heard of it or been familiar with it. I had heard of it, but now I'm going to make sure I go purchase something to make sure that I support her. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I definitely hear what you're saying, but I think sometimes... That's used against us because these things actually take place and we say something about it. Hey, thank thank this company for taking a chance on me and I want to be an inspiration to other girls that look like me. Then they turn that around. Oh, so you're a racist. No, I I see what you're saying. I don't I don't feel like her comment was racist at all. I think uh, little black girls do need they need to see that. Also, it's almost like how we talked about in the last episode about the education system. What people fail to understand is when your teachers and your administration reflect your student body, you're going to have a greater success rate. Simple as that. That's, that's just how it is. However, I brought up something else, and you guys go comment because you may know. I'm not sure. 
during the Super Bowl, you were saying that there were black who who was saying that there were black girls in there? I didn't see no black, I know, girls. I didn't I see any black girls. I know that Jennifer Lopez brought out her daughter and other from what I understood was all Latina girls and they did like a routine and things of that nature that was more or less tailored to the Hispanic community. Yeah. I don't recall, you guys help me if I'm wrong, did people come out and call Jennifer Lopez racist? I've seen her on multiple medias and multiple interviews where she specifically talks about her community and how her success is uh, monumental for Latina girls. I've heard her say that over the years numerous times and I don't recall the her backlash. getting the backlash that B. Dixon is getting. Not just her. I've, I've seen different comedians. The one comedian who is Asian. I ha I'm so sorry I can't remember her name. Uh, it'll come to me later. She's talked about uh, becoming successful in the world of comedy and how... Um, she hopes that inspires other Asians to get in a genre or in a space that's not normally for them. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if she, if they receive the backlash that B. Dixon is receiving. And see, I think with um, the reason why I'm even saying what I'm saying mm -hmm. is because, like, um, say I was the founder of Target. You know, uh -huh. and all of this is going on, and I, I took a chance on you, and I'm gonna back you. Uh -huh. But that might make me feel like down the line. Well, see, Target oh, shot the commercial, so Target knew what was gonna be said before they ever shot it or earned it. Earned it. So Tar it had Target stamp of approval before she ever so they were, shot that commercial. Right. They knew what she was. Yeah, no, say. no, no. I know, but yeah, but because of all that's what's going on. Uh -huh. Say you now, you want to go to Target and see if they'll take a chance on you. They just might not. If your product is good, I mean, and if but if I if, if it's if just I, because cause if they ta if they just think if people stop shop, shopping at Target, but you think about it with all this controversy, it's Target's in a win-win situation because she's selling more than ever before. But we well, do, now we, they are now, now, but you know us. You're just saying from a business standpoint. Yeah, you know how we do. We don't stay. Uh, st we don't stick together. They gonna stick together, baby. When they come down to it, we don't stick together. We, this, this lady, <laughs> this lady is agree. booming now, and people is all on it. But in a few months or down the line, how many people was gonna, gonna be make? loyal? Yeah. Repeat business, and maybe Target may see that as okay. Let's not. We can't afford to take a chance on. Um, now, as far as the support, you are one hundred percent. I hate. You know, I, I tell people all the time, I design handbags, have been doing it for years, and I'll get someone that, if they purchase something, they'll purchase one just to say they did, and then later on say, oh, I didn't realize you had these, or, oh, I didn't know you made that. Okay, well, you didn't know what Michael Kors made either. You just made sure you went to the mall, you made sure you went to his website, you made sure that you kept up with him to know what he had. He never called you one time and said, hey, girl, you want these new wrist with I can't go right, right. 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 So you're right. We don't stick together. We do something to say we did and then we move on. We we stick together when something like this oh it, they uh, they it's racist and this that and we got a lot of comments we wanna type and post and be in on it. Right. Buy something. Stay with me. <laughs> Keep supporting me. Right. Be there when I'm down. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you're right. And yeah. So that's why I, I think with where if you trying to do business, it's got to be based on for everybody because your, your people is the worst people. Yeah. Well, can we at least admit that um, every group that has challenges more so than others? So is that just a no-no? Don't ever say that, hey, I, I want to be inspiration to my people? Should that not be said? I just think that's that's why they try to keep. I mean, I mean, I just feel like that's just reverse psychology to keep us at a low, at the bottom tier, because we're not empowering our people, giving them inspiration. I, it's, I just feel that that's the that's a mecha, a mind mechanism to keep us where we're at. Until we start encouraging and inspiring each other, then we're going to stay there. It goes back to sticking together. <laughs> well, right. So if I'm showing you 
that I was here and now I'm here, then I'll, I can use this one thing as an example. I was talking to a group of younger people and uh, it was right after, shout out to uh, the Coven and Marcus and hopefully you guys will see them on uh, my playlist, Square Biz Boss. They are, or they have done a movie in reference to the Tulsa race rights. Okay, well, uh, I was talking to a group of teenagers and this movie was brought up and um, none of them knew about the Tulsa race riots. And so when I started giving them facts on what people from their community was doing back then, millionaires, own businesses, doctors, lawyers, two, two kids in particular that looked at me in awe and they were all in. I'm talking about glued on everything I was saying like, oh, for real? Like, we did that? We can do that? I mean, so there is something connected to being specific in, you know, who this is for. It, it, identifying, I guess, is what I'm saying. Right. Because you can tell a story all day long. If a younger person, and I'm talking about younger people in general, if they don't identify, it almost looks like, oh, that's cool. I can't do nothing like that. Think of Vita, you see what I'm saying? Think of Vita, Vita that's, and Serena. How yeah, many black people, yeah. African Americans aspire to play tennis? When they start seeing them doing it, you see yes, many yes. African Americans, uh, uh, women, uh, teenagers playing tennis yes, now. Yeah, and because they dominate. Before, all they thought we could do was basketball, right. things like that. So it's almost like once I see it, or somebody uh, reinforces a belief in me that that's for us too. Then they do it. it removed, but I see what you said. It removes the shackles. That it can be taken out of context. And then I'm so, talking about the verbiage more than we uh, can see that she's doing something. You get what I'm saying? That uh, this is her product. She earned the commercial. Yeah. So if I'm interested, I'm going to watch you. I'm going to follow you. Just like you said, I sell purchases. Mm -hmm. I do this and that. But we as black people, to me, we always got to make statements. That, do you think we always have to err on the side of caution? when we reach out to our people, is that what you're saying? That to where we know that she has the commercial, they can see the commercial, we don't have to say it's for black people, they should be able to identify with her her skin color. And, I mean, that's that why like you just used Venus Serena. They, all they did is came out for a plan. They just say, I'm playing tennis to inspire the black girls that you can do it. That. They did? They oh, well, that I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, um, I, I, I haven't seen a commercial, but they've been on interviews where they said that, and they were happy that um, black girls were looking up to them and exploring almost an untapped territory because... But did they say this when they noticed they started... No, they didn't say that's why they up. were doing it. No, 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 no I'm they, saying that did they, um, they uh, say this like um, after they have become big and people know them and they see how many black girls is doing or trying to follow them, then is that when they start commenting about it? Is that what you mean? Or is they was just saying like, um, I'm doing this and aspiring to help black people or black girls or whatever. To they weren't as it. big as they are now, but I think it's when they start getting a name, when they start getting recognized. Right, so that's kind of different. Now that I'm getting a name and, and I'm doing something, I want to inspire. Well, she to me, she she they aired a commercial. That's putting our her product out there so that we'll know mm -hmm. about it. And she's letting us know that you know I'm a black business owner or whatever, and mm -hmm. I'm inspiring my black people that you know I give tar you know mm -hmm. Target did this for me. Well, and, I think you know, she had I mean, made it too because if she's one of the top fifty. Oh, women. Not top 50. She, is, she said that she's one of 50, 50 black women, women that they have invested a million dollars in. I think 50, she had that 50 is, out of... Whoop. 50 out of the... That's ridiculous. So at that, that point, is shameful. Yes. Shameful, shameful, shameful. That, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, it just makes me cringe. I didn't know that stat. So for her to say that, and it was on The Breakfast Club where she did make that comment that she is one of 50 African-American women that have raised over a million dollars. 50? She didn't say 500. She said 50. That's shameful. 
Yeah, shameful. see, now we know more about yeah, it think, now was because it of the controversy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, billion so. or three hundred sixty billion yeah. dollars. Like that's what she terrible. said. That's a crumb. That's terrible. They, yeah. They and, don't and, and what she's saying is, is nothing wrong with what she's saying. Yeah. I'm just saying the commercial, I can see why we're getting all this controversy over it. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm just saying she, to me. That it, didn't need to be said. Nah, she didn't have to do all that. That, that. Um, I beg to differ. And I mean, so, <laughs> and that's good. I mean, that's I good because I, I don't agree either, but I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, I mean, that's just me. I mean, I just don't think that we should ever, if I'm not racist or whatever, yeah. I, I agree saying, with that not racist, but that doesn't, she didn't make anything racist comment, but she wanted to empower her people. I think that's a comp, that's a difference, and that's being, they're trying to alter that in a different way, because she didn't say it was, it's for everybody. The but product she, is for everybody, everybody. but I she think wants she's to saying, inspire. As a black business owner, I have to be successful. Now, y'all know y'all self, well, my goddaughters, and I have my own daughter, but even before I had my daughter, you guys had kids. This, this is my cousin. You, have, you guys had children. So my cousins had kids. My sister had kids. I had a younger brother. And, and this was way before I had kids. And I would watch everything I did because I'm like, people are looking at me. Now, I, didn't, I don't know what your kids was doing. You know, I don't know if I, your kids was looking at me. But I knew hers was. Mm -hmm. I knew my younger brother was. So I wasn't saying these things for everybody. Mm -hmm. I was saying these things for a specific group of people yeah. that I know I need to halfway try to be an example of certain things, of a certain caliber, because maybe we didn't have a whole lot of those examples. Right. So I have to, you see what I'm saying? So maybe that was exclusive. You see what I'm saying? Because it, it didn't include everybody. I knew who I needed to try to set an example for. That even goes back to being a parent. Just as a parent, you're going to inspire. Like you said, you were being, you didn't yeah. have kids. But as a parent, you know you're going to inspire them because you're setting a foundation. She's looking at it. I know where uh, African-American women, the minorities struggle. Yeah. So I'm setting that inspiration to them. Because it's hard I know to hang in there. That's the only reason I, I can say it's identify with what she said is because me alone in my own plight, I know the struggle. Yeah. So when I saw that, it was late at night when I saw it. I thought it was so special. I said, oh, wow, because she said it at the end of the commercial. So I'm laying here watching it. And I said, oh, wow, you know, it touched me that she said that. And I think it touched me because I knew she understood. You're not one of them ones that Natty Target didn't invest in you. You all that. I, I knew she understood the struggles that other African-American women are having. And unfortunately, our kids will have, too. So she's saying, I got to make it so that y'all can hang in there. That's the way I look at it. It's a possibility that yeah. it can't be done. You know? Yeah. Because it's unfortunately, not. when they don't see anybody that look like them, they don't think they can do it. Besides and, an athlete or besides an Yeah, I got to I gotta be play like football. Or, I got to play basketball. Let me get out here and learn this new uh, dance move. Yeah. <laughs> and, I think, and I think there was going to be time for that particular comment. Yeah, you just don't think it was now. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with what she said. Because, yes, you let our, our girls know. But when, you, when you're when you trying to get out there and you just started, right. you got to open it up to everybody so nobody won't feel like it's not yeah. for me. Yeah. She should elaborate more on that the product was for everybody, what, like she did on the show. Mm -hmm. Not until we get all this well, commercial. Well, commercial is only you know. so long, though. But yeah, I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, say something, like, my product, this is for, what's something, but, you know, mm -hmm. it's... I don't it, think it, it would matter. Single. If she... Okay, so basically, you feel like no matter what was said, it would have been... Um, take him wrong and well like I said I think because we are used to being um, that minority I just feel like her being vocal about it it would have been taken out of it, out of context anyway whether she did it on the commercial or whether mm -hmm. she did it on Oprah's platform anywhere once she said anything supporting her own race. I just feel like that they would have uh, took it in a negative viewpoint. I just feel that way. And I just feel like, for me... And, I, I, and I'm thankful she was true to it. 
that sometimes we try to, you get people just worried about them. I'm glad that she spoke up to say, I'm here to support mm -hmm. my own race. I'm not saying everybody else, but she spoke to say, I want them to see that, visibly see that we can do it to empower her own people instead of just selling out. And I guess for me, <laughs> <laughs> I guess for me, is I see it as Get that I, I understand um, we trying to promote our black people all the time and every day. But for many a years from way back, we like I, I say it and I keep saying it, we don't support each other like that. Yeah. So we always trying to pull so, up or I we trying to show up and 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 bring our people in, mm -hmm. but we perish as people because of the lack of knowledge for ourselves as black. Yeah. So it's us. So at the end of the day, she's doing a good job. She did what she felt that she needed to. But girl, at the end of the day, your people is going to be there for you now. But next year, let me see where they at. So not work on <laughs> not making anybody feel excluded. And, yeah. Because apparently, I guess some people felt excluded by that yeah, comment. And that's, exactly. and that's why I brought up, did Jennifer Lopez get any backlash? Has some of these other uh, ethnic groups gotten backlashes from their celebrities specifically coming? Because she does it all the time. And like I say, I could have swore when they did the review of the Super Bowl, they all said that she, the group of girls that came out was Latina. I didn't hear any, didn't other, group, any other races. Any like other girls up there. And mm -hmm. I was not offended. I actually was like, oh, that's cool that she, you know, brought, you know, and I've seen her, all, like I say, on multiple interviews where she says she's an inspiration for her community, for the Latino community, for Latino girls. That's why I wasn't surprised. I didn't watch the Super Bowl, but when I heard about it, I wasn't surprised because I've seen so many interviews where she said something about being an inspiration to Latina girls, not African-American girls, not Caucasian girls. Not all girls, but Latina girls. And I don't remember anybody coming out making it look like she was racist or she right. was, uh, you know, being exclusive in any way, shape, or form. Good conversation, guys. Uh, Y'all go check out B. Dixon's uh, products, uh, feminine products, thehoneypot.co, her um, social media, I am B. Dixon. Please give us some feedback. We want to know what you guys think. If you are aware of everything that's going on and your opinion on it, you know, who do you agree with? You agree with Nairi right here? Look, look, what team you on? Team Keisha? <laughs> team Nairi? I can, or Team Ty? You know what I'm saying? I can kind of agree with both of them a little bit. Thank you guys for joining us on the Pastel Carpet. And go Give support. us a feedback. Yeah, support go support Target. Go support yeah. Target.